Hi everybody. Welcome. I, I forgot to give a heads up on Twitter this time. Usually I give some notice before I go on, so I forgot. So sorry about that, you guys. Hello, welcome, come on in. It's Monday, and every Monday we get together and we talk about something that's gonna make our lives better. I call it McKellar Motivational Monday. Some of you guys have been with me for a long time. I've been doing this for years, actually. I've been doing this for years. Not years on Instagram. I've been doing it for years on Periscope, and I would say maybe a year now on Facebook Live and Instagram all simultaneously. Hello, hello, everyone. So tell me where you guys are watching from. Seattle? Brooklyn? Riverside? Nice. Thanks, everyone, for coming on in. Phoenix? Cleveland? New Zealand? That's um, What time is it in New Zealand right now, I wonder? Wisconsin, Brazil, Tampa, very cool. You're watching The Years, I'm guessing The Wonder Years with your 10 year old, that's amazing. Monica will tell him I uh, or she, tell he or she I said thanks for watching. Charlotte, Vancouver, Cupertino, my grandmother lived in Cupertino when she was alive. We lost her eight years ago, she was 99 years old, but I love Cupertino, I've been going to Cupertino since I was a baby. Many fond memories there. Kentucky, Massachusetts, London, London, another Kentucky, San Rafael, Fresno, Brazil. I have the best fans in Brazil. Seriously, they are, I just have a lot of fans in Brazil. I guess I think the Wonder Years is big there, right? I'm not sure if the Hallmark movies have, have made it over there yet. <laughs> Northwest Indiana, Concord. What's up from Flu Fluvana, Virginia? Nice. Texas, of course. Very cool. Yeah, I definitely know about Cupertino. It's probably, I mean, when I was, I was like a baby and I knew what Cupertino was. That was before it became what it is today. It was before Silicon Valley. So, hey, so uh, Canada. I love Canada. Newfie Bullet. You know I love, I love Canada. I shoot a lot of my Christmas movies and just Hallmark Channel movies in general in Canada. And I love it. I've been to Vancouver. I've been to Toronto. I've been to um, Winnipeg uh, and Sudbury and all sorts. I've been all over. I've, I'm like... I've gotten the Canadian tour and I love it. I'm hoping I might I might shoot something in Ottawa there uh, later this year, so we'll see. Get to explore even more of it. Um, well, I'm working on two different Hallmark projects right now that are in development, but they're both going to be airing near the end of the year. So this is like the first half of this year is really about for me. It's kind of like keeping my head down and working. And I'm in development on some movies. I'm uh, working on my math books. Speaking of math books, uh, and before I get to the quick way to relieve stress, and it really is quick. I mean, there are a couple things you can do, but it's amazing how many tools we have at our disposal and we don't use them. So I'm here. Part of the McKellar Motivational Monday is to remind us of the tools that we have that we forget to use. This weekend, you guys, this weekend I am speaking at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books here in Los Angeles at USC on campus. It's a huge festival, tons of authors. I will be there speaking at 11 o'clock on Sunday, and then I'm signing books afterwards. But I know a lot of you can't be in Los Angeles this weekend, and you might want a signed book personalized to you anyway. And I'm very excited to announce, I talked to the book owner, the bookstore people today, and I said, look, if somebody calls and says, here's how I want it signed out to, and I'll pay for shipping, will you ship it to them? And I said, yes, if you call before they close on Wednesday. So they close, why didn't I, why didn't I memorize their phone number? Okay, I... I will fix that somehow. Um, I'll, I'll be tweeting about it. And if somebody else actually can look up the phone number to Once Upon a Time Bookstore in Los Angeles. It's called Once Upon a Time Bookstore. They're open until 8 o'clock Pacific Time. And they're taking phone orders until 8 p.m. on Wednesday. And then they have to cut it off. But when they have those orders, when I'm with them on Sunday at the festival, I will sign books to you if you call them. And I'll be able to sign them to you. It's so exciting. I'm really excited. This is the main book I'll be talking about at the festival. It's called Do Not Open This Math Book. It's for first and second graders. And math time, math time for little ones. And it teaches very beginning edition. And some of my other books are there too, like Math Doesn't Suck, Ten Magic Butterflies, Good Night Numbers. And I'll be signing all of them um, for you guys, whether you come or if you uh, call the Once, a Time, Once Upon a Time bookstore um, before Wednesday at 8 p.m. when they close, which is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Did anybody have a chance to look up the phone number for Once Upon 
Thank you. A1H, 2489668. What a great number. That's not a hard number to memorize. 818-248-9668. You guys write it down. 818-248-9668. The number disappeared, but I'm pretty sure that was it. So yeah, call and tell them who you want me to sign the book for, which book you want, and um, and they will make it happen. So excited. Thank you, Jay. 818-248-9668. So they're actually open right now for about another hour and a half. Maybe not quite, so you can call them, drop out of the scope, go call them, order your books, come back. I'm sure I'll still be talking. So, oh, thanks, Real NJ. Oh, I recognize your name. You're the one with his son, Jordan, and you have a super cute little picture with him holding the book, and I'm going to be posting it soon on Insta Stories. I'm not sure, maybe tomorrow. Um, it says closed in Google. They said they're open till 8 o'clock. Well, they're open till 8 o'clock. I just lost my light over here. What happened? I'm going to get dark over here. Um, well, they're, they're closed? I feel betrayed. She said 8 o'clock. All right, well, we'll be open tomorrow. But try again. Try again. Just try, try calling them. Thank you, Brian. 818-248-9668. So anyway, that's the number you can call if you want to get a signed book. We have to call by Wednesday when they close, whatever time that is. Anyway, you guys, so... Relieving stress, relieving stress. We live in a crazy world. There is stress and information coming at us all the time in a way that has never happened before. When I was a kid, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have, we didn't have, and I feel like such a, like a grandma talking about this. I'm not a grandma, but like we didn't have that. We had to look stuff up in an encyclopedia if we wanted to know. If we wanted knowledge, you looked in the encyclopedia. If you wanted a phone number or an address, you looked in the yellow pages. We had other tools. You went to the library to, to learn about things. But the point is, yes, the Internet's awesome. But what that means is we get so much information coming at us all the time, and that only adds to our stress levels. So one of the easiest ways to relieve stress is very simple. It is just taking a moment to take a really, really deep breath. And it really, really works, and it feels really, really good. So we're going to do that all... Oh, thank you, Roxy. Mondays and Sundays, they close at 5 o'clock. The rest of the days are 8 o'clock. And that's specific time. Thank you so much for that information. Okay, so let's do it. Let's take a deep breath all together. First of all, who's in? Who's going to do it with me? Who's going to... Yes, you will, Max. You go for a run when you're stressed, Teresa? There's an app called Calm. Oh, that's cool. No, Tim, I'm not 20-something. It's just a lot of light coming in. Thank you. We did. We, we memorized phone numbers back then, Joey. It's true. Uh, a seven-year-old, Jessica, I would recommend do not open this math book for seven. Absolutely. It's just perfect age for that. Okay, so we're going to... Okay, so you're in, Abraham? All right. When I used to do contests, he was my first contest winner. Becky, you're a yoga instructor. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to breathe. Okay. Listen to music when you're stressed. That's great. I love that. So I like breathing out all the way first. First of all, I'm sure none of you guys are driving while you're watching this, but if you are, please don't do this breathing exercise because, or if you do it to a very gentle version, make sure you're not looking. You're in it. You're in. Let's go, Muscavo. Yes, Bill. You're in, Jennifer. Okay, cool. So I like to breathe out all the way. Then breathe in all the way. Hold it until you think you can't breathe anymore. And then take like three more little breaths in and a trick that I like to do is our lungs actually go all the way up here like right around our, our clavicle and if you imagine if you can like see the breath going into these spaces when you breathe you can actually feel a little more deeply the breath and it's amazing it feels so good so we're gonna when we, when we do those little breaths in imagine it there then we breathe all the way out oh we hold it up there then we breathe so here we go ready one two three gonna breathe out <sighs> Now, all the way in. Feel it up here. Breathe in. Hold. <sighs> and breathe out. <sighs> Even just that much. 
I, you can feel it and you can, yes, you, sometimes you get a little lightheaded. That's why I said, don't do it if you're driving. <laughs> Thank you, Marianne. You're just performing brain surgery, Rob. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Not a good thing to do if you have a shoulder injury. Good to know, David. Thank you. So nobody do that. Let's do it one more time. Didn't it feel good? Savage lion. What a great name. Savage lion. <sighs> yeah. There's some, right. And breathe in, breathe out. Yeah. So let's do it again. Breathe out all the way, then breathe in all the way. Then when you think you've taken as much air as you possibly can, then imagine it filling in your lungs up here that go because they do all go all the way up here. And then breathe three more little breaths in and then hold it for like five seconds and then release it. Did it feel great, Megan? Okay. So breathe all the way out. Now in. Now again, in. Hold. <sighs> I feel great. Jessica, yes, your seven-year-old niece. Do not open this math book is the, is the book that I recommend. That's the name of the book, actually. <laughs> you can find that on Amazon or call the number 818-248-9668. That is the number. I memorized it now. You can order a personalized one. Just call by the end of Wednesday and uh, I can sign it for you this weekend. <sighs> so that feels great. We'll do another breath a few, in a few minutes. And I, yes, I do think, David, that it would. Uh, this would be a good way to increase lung capacity for sure. It just feels good, right? And you know why? Because we need oxygen, <laughs> and we take such shallow, stressed breaths all the time. Like when I'm focusing on something. By the way, if I'm working, like if I'm writing one of my books or doing whatever, I will notice. I'll catch myself not breathing in all the way. Or as you guys have all figured out by now, I tend to speak rather quickly. And when you speak rather quickly, you don't have much time to take breaths in between. You're still breathing, Travis. Excellent. That's good. Isn't that helpful, Pen? I'm so glad. Hey, ears on. Yeah, so we can talk about other fast ways to uh, relieve stress as well. That's just like, I mean, what does it take? A total of 10 seconds, maybe? You can actually physically feel a difference in your body. Another thing you can do is literally get up and do 10 jumping jacks. Shake, moving your body changes the chemistry. It will change it. Um, another thing you can do, which almost seems counterintuitive, that is to tense up everything in your body and then relax it. You guys want to do that together too? You guys want to do the thing where you... <laughs> I should come up with a song to memorize the phone number of the bookstore. That's a very funny idea. Sorry, I missed the name of the person who said that. <laughs> You're funny, Joe. Has anyone said, you take my breath away? If they haven't, I'll call it. That's from Joe on Facebook Live. Why am I in a car, Cheryl? You do feel better, Kim? I'm in a car because um, I... Uh, I have a busy life and sometimes the only way to get stuff done is when my, my son is in a class of some sort and I can sit in the car and get something done. Oh good, Mark, I'm so glad. What did I do on Motivational Monday with Jonathan? That's a funny idea. That's a great, I mean, Jonathan's, he's talking about Jonathan Bennett, I assume, a good friend of mine who is probably the most like motivational person I know. He's got so much energy. I have not trained with kettlebells yet, Ralph, but I'm, I've got that steel mace and actually I'm going to be doing, um, a Skype call on Wednesday with my friend Lori Verita, who is an expert at uh, steel mace and she's going to help me learn how to do it correctly. Hi, tall man. Yeah, the shot. Why is it daylight? Because in California it's daylight at 7 PM in the spring. Getting something done like helping my fans. Well, I try, Kirk. I, you know, here's the thing. I really appreciate, I really appreciate all of you. And I appreciate what you guys all allow me to do. If you weren't buying my books and watching my movies, I'd be sitting by myself not doing anything. 
I mean, I'd, I'd be hanging out with my son, <laughs> but I wouldn't, you guys give me, you allow me this opportunity and, and I don't take that for granted. Not, not one day. Oh, thanks, Cook Tima. Thanks, guys. Is my car, is the car my place of calm and zen? Sometimes I try to meditate every day. I probably meditate six days a week these days. I've been really good about it. And it often, it often happens in my car. Thanks, Defender. Your kiddo loved the pie video the other day. Oh, thanks, Nicholas. Um, Abraham, I'm doing a signing in New York in June. So June 2nd, I'm pretty sure it's not the 3rd. I think it's the 2nd. That is um, uh, the, the book con. So I'll be in New York on a panel, and I'll be signing books ahead of time. And I'm pretty sure that's it's Sunday, I think, June 2nd. You've been praying to meditate? You've been praying that you would start meditating? Or you've been, your form of meditation is a prayer? I think that's what you meant. <laughs> oh, you'll be there when I get to meet Jordan? That'd be awesome. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. Thank you, Trent. When am I going to write a book about my life, Dusty? I, I guess when I've lived more of it, maybe. I don't know. I know a lot of people write autobiographies when they're not like done with their life. I don't know. I'm so busy writing math books and, and things that I, I uh, and acting and being a mom. So maybe after Draco's all grown up and gone off to college, maybe then I'll, I'll do that. Oh, you're welcome, Myra. Graham Smith. That name sounds very familiar. Not, you're not the actor Graham Smith, are you? I think it was Smith. Um, <laughs> I have no plans to come to Indianapolis, Randy. I'm so sorry. They, uh, you know, because everything's online and most books sell online now, the book tour thing is just not, it's not doesn't happen as often. Yes, Rakeshkin, uh, Rakeshkin, I, we just did a breathing exercise. Would you guys like to do it again? So a lot of people are coming on that they're newer that haven't been watching it. You just had a tough evening of third grade math. I feel you. Math is different now. All right, you guys want to do another breath? Yes, I get to Canada, Jay Shrek, all the time. I, I'm in Canada a few times a year doing my, my uh, Hallmark Channel movies. Yes, Teresa? Yes, Pimarski? P. Minarski. All right, you ready? Most Hallmark movies are made in Canada. Yes, Road Eagle. You ready? You ready, Mystic Ninja and Pen Quaker? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe all the way out, and then we're going to breathe all the way in, and then and, and try to take as much air as you possibly can in and hold it. And then when you think you've gotten as much as you possibly can in your lungs, breathe, do three little quick little breaths in and feel it up here, right here, like the relieve stress and get a signed book. Hang on, Lamberton. I will tell you how to get the signed book in just a moment. We're going to do this breath right here. So feel it up here in your lungs because they go all the way up here and then hold that, then breathe out. Okay, ready? So what does this accomplish, Ed? It gives us more oxygen and it relieves stress. It's amazing and it feels really good and it increases your lung capacity, which is a great thing as well. We need oxygen. We, it's very important. Okay, here we go. Breathe in all the way. Feel it up here. Breathe in. Hold. <sighs> oh, you might feel a little lightheaded, but it feels oh, so good to really breathe. It slows us down a little. Uh, yes, Jessica, Do Not Open This Math Book actually has a new math translation guide in the back of it. That's this one. It's for second, it's for first and second grade math. And because the math looks so different now, uh, I actually have a new math translation guide in the back of the book. And I often have, because all the terms, so many terms are different. And I also have, uh, I'll do like a side-by-side -side of how a problem used to be done versus how it's done today. 
I think I have one of them here. Two ways to do a 36 plus 18 because the old way wasn't good enough, I guess. Now you can do it with pictures. So I do it side by side so you can see what the heck is going on. It is hard to get those extra breasts, uh, breasts uh, Aisha, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. D doesn't it feel great, Mario? Teresa, yes, your six-year-old. This is perfect for your six-year-old. So, oh, so I was going to tell um, Peralta, what was the name? Who? So, relieving stress and getting a signed book have nothing to do with each other. Like, literally nothing to do with each other. They're just two things that I'm talking about today. So, stress relief, I'm talking about taking that deep breath. It doesn't take very much time, and it feels so good. And why does it feel so good? Because our bodies desperately need oxygen and we spend so much of our time being extra stressed because of the world we live in these days. Oh, it feels really good to just let yourself breathe. Getting a signed book, separate topic. This week, actually just today and tomorrow and, well today I guess they're closed already. But tomorrow, which is Tuesday, for those of you watching later, and then Wednesday, those two days only, you can call this place called Once Upon a Books, Once Upon a Time, Once Upon a Time Bookstore. They will take your name, take your order, and I will sign books for you this weekend, and then they'll ship it to you. So you pay for shipping, but um, this is a very unique, I don't usually have this kind of opportunity where I can say, hey, you guys, if you can't come to a bookstore, I can still sign books personalized to you or your kids or whatever. This is one of the books I'll be signing for sure. Also, Bath Time, Math Time. They've got tons of both of these books in stock that I can sign for you or your child. Um, and then they'll ship it to you. But you have to call between uh, Tuesday and Wednesday until 8 o'clock Pacific Time. And that number is, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 818-248-9668. 818-248-9668. And that, you can call and you can get a sign. And I'm so excited to sign you guys um, uh, books because I know a lot of you can't make it to the uh, festival this weekend. And just thank you, Joey. That is the number. Thank you, Kirk. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying bath time, math time. Thank you, Tinkerball, 818-248-9668. That is the phone number. Call them. I will send you a sign. I will sign you a book and they will send it to you. You're welcome, Whaley. It has a nice rhythm to it, that number. Yes, Kirk, I have another book coming out later this year. It is a sequel to Bath Time, Math Time. It's called Bath Time, Math Time Shapes, and it's really cute. And it's available for pre-order right now on Amazon, actually. But it won't be at the festival this weekend, so I'm not really talking about it too much. Oh, Jen Dixon, tell uh, your dad I said hello back. And it really is live. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm streaming on, on three devices right now, Josh. I've got Facebook Live, Periscope, and Instagram Live. Math in the tub count bubbles. Actually, one of the pages does count bubbles. Yes, I'm in California. And that is why it is still light out. It's amazing how light, how late it is light. Thank you, Justin. Thanks, Kim. The best book for an eight to nine year old Tinkerball? You know, it depends. So I'm writing a book right now for multiplication and division that comes out next year. And so that's for memorizing your multiplication tables, things like that. Um, if the eight to nine year old is in second grade. Uh, oh, my book signing at the LA Times Festival, Joyful Life, is at 11 a.m. on Sunday. So come see me. Um... Oh, shit, what was I just saying? What was I just saying? I just lost my train of thought. What was I just talking about? Oh, no. Will somebody tell me what I was just talking about? Second grade. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is for second grade. This is for second grade. This will teach most, um, addition and subtraction, like, you know, place value, but like addition and subtraction with three columns, you know, um, adding three-digit numbers, subtracting three-digit numbers, and, um, and really... And I do it the, the old way and the new way. So we use models to, you know, the, all the pictures. They're doing so many pictures now. Uh, Risa, I have never had my IQ tested. I never cared about it that much. 
10 years old. So um, 10 years old, uh, if they're like in fifth grade, then math doesn't suck. That book, that's fractions, that decimals, percents, that kind of stuff. This is Honestly, how do I feel about new math? Um, I feel like it's a mixed bag because I like the idea of things being visual, but it's just, you know, it's just a bit much. Oh, this is slipping. This is my, my periscope. This is my husband's iPad. And new math homework, yes. Um, yeah, so you guys, do you guys want to do one last breath before we get off? By the way, what time is it? Yes, Kathy, for a 12 to 14 year old, um, yeah, for sure. Kiss My Math is great for 12, um, like sixth grade. Kiss My Math, that's pre-algebra. It's, it's um, solving for X, graphing. Um, I haven't looked, oh, negative numbers, variables, really getting comfortable with variables. And then for like 13, 14, I've got an algebra book called Hot X Algebra Exposed, and that is algebra one. So that's the quadratic formula and and factoring polynomials and I mean you know a lot of X. It's algebra. <laughs> Seven ten. Thank you, Mystic Ninja. All right. So uh, one last breath and then we will go. And again, if you guys want me to sign you one of these or any of my other books, call this bookstore called Once Upon a Time Bookstore. It's in Los Angeles, and they will take your order. And you'll pay for shipping, but I will sign the book personally to you, whoever you want me to sign it to. Um, I'll sign it this weekend, but you have to call them by Wednesday, and the phone uh, by the end of the day Wednesday. The phone number is 818-248-9668. So let's all breathe together one more time, all right? We're going to breathe all the way out, and we're going to breathe all the way in, and we'll get to the top. We'll take three little short breaths and hold it and then release. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> I love Tom Lair. Breathe in. In. Hold. And breathe out. Ah, <sighs> that feels really good. I love you all and appreciate you all. And thank you so much for your follows and your shares and your support. Please come to the book, come to the uh, festival this weekend if you're in town. I'll be speaking at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books on Sunday at 11 o'clock. Book signing afterwards. And if you can't make it, then please call the bookstore. If you want a signed book, I will sign it personally to you. Just call them by, before the end of the day on Wednesday, which is 8 o'clock Pacific time. Their number is 818-248-9668. I can't wait to sign books for you guys. And please send me pictures of your little ones in my books. It makes my day. It's just wonderful. And thank you for your reviews on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Your support means so, so much. And uh, don't forget to breathe. Mwah. Bye.